Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another account review. We are on Knight's account and this account had only one real question. Why can't he get into C3 RTA? He could touch it, but he could never end in it. So he wanted my opinion on why that's not possible. So let's take a look at it together and see where he might be lacking. I'm assuming he's doing all the dungeons, everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure he is going to be lacking in efficient runes, efficiency, so R5 will be a big thing. Uh, let's go check that out as well through swap. But first, before anything, let's go check out his box. Okay, he is missing a decent amount of nat 5s, but does he have like more? Does he have Chandra? Okay. Do you have Sagar? No Smicer, that's pretty big. Sagar's there. Do you have Veladrul? No Veladrul. Okay, that's pretty big too, but the Fire Monkey's there. Okay. LD units. Any LDs? No light LD5, but he has Zero too. A dark LD5. Okay. Ooh, he also has Vivichel. You have Leo, right? Okay, you have Leo. Let's go check out what type of game he's playing. I'm not going to look at anything else. I'm going to just look at RTA because that is what he asked for. Currently in F2, but... It's because he hasn't played in a while. He just declined because he didn't play. His win rate was 50%. 50% tells me that you are in the rank you're supposed to be in, right? You're going 50-50 and that was happening mostly in C2. So for now, I want to say yes, you should be in C2 just from the win rate. So however you were playing it, however you ruined your units with that kind of play style, if you're not improving in your draft pick and ban, then you are where you're supposed to be at. Let's see what type of game he's been playing. So first turn, Sonya, okay, but you definitely got outsped here. Because he banned your one speed lead. You don't take Hey Gang, right? Yeah, no Hey Gang. Definitely got outsped. If you get outsped, you're GG'd. Oh yeah, it's GG'd. <laughs> How can you come back from this? This one, it tells, it tells us you lost. You probably got outsped again. I don't know how fast your Zibala is, but if that's your one Swift unit, it should be decently fast. But I'm guessing you got outsped. No, you go first. Whoa, what? What was that? Now that's on you. That's definitely, you should have used skill three just right away. Why did you save it? There's two units that were on non-will. Wow. I mean, you're more died because of the attack buff. Or was I wrong? I definitely saw no will on two of his units. Yeah, no. Oh my goodness. That was very greedy. You can't take those plays, man. You have to respect the attack buff. Holy cow. That was definitely on you. Okay, but it looks like your game plan is mostly every, like, Zeratu is all in your draft. You always have Zeratu. Okay, there's finally no Zeratu right there. Oh, wait, it's because the opponent took Zeratu. You don't have Zeratu because the opponent took it. Did you win this? You did. Thankfully, you did. I guess your last pick, Douglas, and the non-ban on Leo saved you. Because I would have banned Leo if you wanted your Sonya to work, but I guess you predicted that and not banned the Leo. So you used it in your favor. Oh, no, they're out to here too. Cool. But you have a tendency of only drafting one speed lead. Uh, this one here is fine because your last pick was Leo. So that's fine. Okay, one speed lead. Sonya was the ban. You probably got outsped here, huh? Okay, let's see this one. I kind of want to see how you're playing your first turn game. Okay, here you didn't have much to do because you didn't have a stripper. You have a single target stripper, but I don't know how much that will do. Wow. That stun on Douglas was insane. Chandra kind of counters Douglas because it always crits on skill one. So if Chandra lives, you're in trouble. Wow, but you did got kind of unlucky here. I'll be very scared. But he's not going for Douglas right away, it looks like. He's, he wants to kill the revive first. It 
It was closed, but the Chandra probably cleaned up. And the more, because who's gonna kill more now? Yeah, it's GG. Moore is going is dealing with the other two, and Chandra is just gonna deal with the Douglas. So I'm violent too. I think you have to kill Chandra fast, but it was really hard with your draft. What does Tessarion do in this draft? I don't get it. There's one with a passive. There's one with a passive, but there's auto immunity on this girl. There's immunity on this guy. I don't know what you're trying to do here. We're trying to one shot the Vela Jewel. Well, you got outsped. Yeah, that's a scary, scary first turn. Because this match is going to do a lot of damage with the speed buff. Holy cow. Oh, but why did he even go for her? Because she's going to have passive. But that's huge that you couldn't kill the Oliver. You wasted a lot of turns there. Masha is going to start going ham. Oh, that was an unfortunate proc right there. But now this girl's gone. And then Masha's is going to start cleaning up. Ooh. Rough. Okay, let's take a look at your units. Wow, what is this? 10 units? Yeah, I said have a small box, but a 10 is very, very small. Yo, that is not gonna work. Okay, Cassandra. Wow, it's only 24 speed and that's all the damage it did? It has to be an artifact issue then. You don't need damage taken from water on this girl. She has her passive, it doesn't matter how much damage she takes, especially on double nemesis. She could take all the damage she wants, it's just, she just needs to take a turn. Not bad, but this one is pretty lackluster here. Yeah, I see grind issues, like I suspected. Okay, that big, big grind issues. Okay, Sonya on Swift Broken, not even 100 crit rate. Not even that have attack. I wouldn't even use this Sonya without attack buff. Do you have the water cookie? Adriana? Freak, I wouldn't use Sonya, man. I don't think even with this Sonya you'll get to C3. I think you need like two close to 2,000 attack to do anything. Zeratu, very squishy, not on will. Carnal, very squishy. I thought this was gonna be on crit damage, seeing that HP. Speed, defense, HP. Wow. Vanessa. I'll make it a swift Vanessa. Use these. Use these. Follow me somewhere else. More is decent. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, was, I said decent until I saw the accuracy. Oh my, 58. You're really betting on your accuracy, man. Plus 205, Zimbala. <laughs> your, your swift runes are actually so slow. Or is it because you gave that to... You're, you're sharing it with Sonya. But Sonya's base speed is so fast too. Okay, maybe you're really just sharing it with Sonya. I think these two should just go on to one swift unit. I will I will scrape the Sonya. Chung Pong. Whoa! <laughs> this definitely has to be a rune efficiency thing, cause the HP that we're seeing is horrendous. What is this? See like this type of Chung Pong, it would get one shot by Yamasha. Vampire Blade Douglas, oh, plus 27 speed. I think I'm seeing efficiency problems all around. I'm actually surprised you got up to C2. I mean, it definitely shows you that if you have a team, you could get up to a certain point. But once you're there, rune efficiency means a lot. Um, You have a lot of great units. If I had to pick, this is just me. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could choose out your units again. This is just me. I'll definitely use Leo. I'll use Miles. And why am I using Miles and Leos? These are two easy units to rune. Because one, Leo does not need speed, makes them easy to rune. Miles doesn't need crit rate, crit damage, makes them easy to rune. Okay? Just those two reasons make them easy to rune. I'll use a B Leo. I don't know if that's the Tessarion that you've been using, but Fire Monkey too. Triple Rand Verd. Sagar. 
You want to have Rakuni because you're gonna have a Miles. Ethna for your speed contest. Now Zibala is better for the control types, but you're not going control anymore. Pharaoh. That's it. I mean, there's more you could add. I think this is where I'll start. I don't like Camilla that much as a damage dealer now. I think Chao is better. You also have Chandra. If you're worried about control, Josephine, where's Hei Gang? Oh man, not having Hei Gang is pretty big. Uh, use Vanessa still. More is probably still okay. And if you could find a window to use Vivachal, I think that'd be good too. I just never use Vivachal. So yeah, 17 units. I'll play with this. I'll play with this. Oh, it looks like you have some stuff ruined. But even this is very squishy. I might just kill the speed. But even a simple draft like this could get you pretty far. And it'll really put your runes to the test. However, I think this draft, I think definitely relies more on rune efficiency. I think that first team, it needs more units. Anyhow, I think you'll definitely see a wall just trying for one type of team. You need to be able to pivot. But with your current draft, five, I mean, 10 units, the pivot is not there. So you will need more units anyways. But this team definitely allows you to play a lot of different stuff with the counters being there as well. Uh, I'll actually add one more unit, which is Escher. And if you want some more control, you could add like uh, the Wind Robo as well. <laughs> yeah, something like this. So actually 19 units. And you could put in Douglas again, if you need another counter against those type of controls you're having trouble with. Yeah, 20 units, I think this will be okay. Uh, I would want more Wind dealers though, like tanky dealers. Um, something like Fang. Oh, you don't have Fang. Uh, Wind Monkey works well too. You could go with Gyu as well to deal with first turn units. But yeah, there's a lot of options. You have a lot of options to choose from. I guess the real question is how efficient are your runes? So let's go check that out. So if you want to get into C3, I'm really expecting a decent amount of efficient runes in your PvP category. Let's go check how fast your runes are first. So you have 1,600 runes. Your fastest is a 34 on Violent. I want to give you some claps there. Another 32 on Violent. Wow, you have fast runes. You have fast runes. 30, 30. Look at these though. There's a plus three. Another plus four. Okay, fours are fine. But you definitely see improvement there. But you have some decently fast runes. Let's actually set only the ones that we want to use. I think these are the main five. Despair, Intangible, Swift, Violent, and Will. If we go from there, 34. And we need a total of 20, 30, 40, 41 runes, or 51 runes, right? Or 41 runes? 41 runes for it to go below 24. So that's actually really good. It's actually not bad. A lot is four plus four, so they could get a plus five. Some are even plus threes, so there's a there's even more room for improvement. This violent rune is a plus two. Oh, it's a slot two though. Okay, I see why. But this is nice. It's nice. So then let's look at how many are efficient. Over 100%. That's the start. Okay, so in these five sets, there's 79 runes at over 100%. Not the worst, but not the greatest either. If you look at the highest efficiency, 116. And the lowest is 100. Obviously, I see some room for improvement as a lot of these runes don't have max grinds and gems. Like 6% right there, uh, 6%, 5%, 5%, a lot of room for improvement. There's no grind here. It could get even better. What's over 110%? Six runes over 110%. Yeah, so this is where everything starts lacking, right? Only six runes. That's not that great. How about from everything? 12 runes! <laughs> That's over 110%. But this Violet rune is there, the 32 speed one. That's awesome. It's a crit damage rune though. Oh no, no, it's HP rune. Awesome, awesome. That's an awesome rune. But man, only 12 out of everything. 190 over, over 100%. So going back to like Violent, 
there's 27 runes over 100% efficiency. I will look at this list and find everything that's not fully grinded to the at least hero. I think if it has over 25 speed, I think it is worthy of a legend grind and gem. So you could think of that as well. Please work on your raid and R5 to perfect these. I think this is where you'll get the most improvement. Although yes, you might think that it's so small. It's only 1-2% from here and there. But if you think about it, if it's 1-2% from like 5 runes, 6 runes, that's a total of 12% or more. Assuming that you could get even a bigger upgrade due to legend gems and legend grinds. That's a lot. That's a lot of stats that you're missing. And trust me, a lot of people in C3 and up are doing this. They're working their butt off in R5 trying to get that additional 1, 2, 3%. Trying to get that one more speed on each slot. That's where the difference is coming from. Now, not only that, the other place where you see the difference is artifacts. Now, it's really hard to see efficiency with artifacts, but let's just try to look at 90%. It's really hard to get 90% efficiency on artifacts. Even I don't have a lot of that. I need to work on artifacts even more. But 90% on artifacts is really hard to get. You have 9 artifacts. That's over 90%. From that, you also have to get a lot of additional damage stuff. Like, this one is really nice. The one on Juno, that's cool. Um, oh, well, skill 1, crit damage. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's decent. It's decent, right? But if you go to 100%, there's nothing, right? There's nothing. There's nothing over 100%. It's hard, first, because you can't grind it. Actually, you could grind it. You could roll it. So maybe if you're very lucky, you could get over 100%, but it's very hard. So you'll definitely want to get better artifacts, especially with those, uh, with those additional damage stuff. And also damage deduction. Those help the most. You have two, two grinds over 90%. If you compare it with mine, again, I don't like comparing with mine because there is a pretty big difference. If you look at the runes, just look over 110%. On violent, even just on violent, you had 12 over 110% out of everything, and I have 43. That's the difference. And no way I'm a high level player, I'm a pretty low level player, right? I did get G1 in RTA, but that was pretty recent, the last three seasons. You could assume that a lot of people in Punisher have similar room quality like I do. Many might be lower and still be there because they're good with the draft and stuff, but. A majority of them should have similar rune quality. Like, especially if they're in P3, P2, I think they have similar rune quality. My artifact quality is garbage. Over 95%. I have five. <laughs> I'm just as bad as you in artifacts. Let's see, over 90%. Okay, 41. A little more for artifacts. But mine is so bad. My artifacts are so bad. I know I have to work on it. Another way you want to see if you're doing well with your runes and grinds is use your SWGT. Right, so if you go onto SWGT, um, it's the guild tool. You could always upload your JSON. So I'll upload mine. And then you could go to your account summary. And then it'll show something like this. My I don't know what this really means. Violent 163, Will 158, Destroy, Nemesis. Whoa, it's 270. That's crazy. Um, by set premium rune efficiency, I have no clue what this means, but. Um, I think this is what's important. Average rune efficiency, 126. Account farming priority. This is what you need to see. Number one, raid more from premium. Raid more for premium. This means I need more, probably legend grinds and gems for my premium runes. Two is spiritual realm, which I really don't care about. It's probably due to seal runes. And then it's artifacts. Look at that. But this is telling you in priority. One, two, three, four. So I'm not gonna care about two, but after we're gonna raid, then Punisher Crypt, then Steel Fortress, and then again, more Raid, <laughs> then Giants, Necro, and then Dragon. So my Dragon is my last priority, I guess. But this tells you what to do. So if you're in a guild that's not using this, then I'm sorry, but this is also this is definitely one reason why you should strive for better guilds that are more active, as there's a good chance that they will be using this. I think a lot of G2 guilds are still lenient to, ac to accepting you. So you should try and join those guilds See your own account summary to figure out what you need to work on. Even my account, I need to do raid. And I knew that. And when I look at many people's accounts, it's mostly raid. Um, but sometimes people don't wanna but sometimes people don't want to believe that and they think it's something else. So they need like a program like this or a tool like this to tell you that hey, it is raid. Work on raid. Work on it. 
So I think it's the same thing for this account as well. I think rune efficiency is definitely an issue. So I think raid needs to be done so that he could bring up the quality of his runes. But that was it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want account reviews like this, please join my Patreon. If you guys want account improvements, join my Discord, fill out the Google form, and I'll see you guys next time.